Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to the next episode review for Call of the Night, episode 6. And now we're halfway through this really good uh, series right now, already, can't believe it. But uh, this was another really another really good episode of Call of the Night. And I gotta first say, right off the bat, right now, I thought it was the most, I thought it was the most stunning, more, uh, the animation, when it came to the pool, when they go to the night, we try to go night swimming at the, this big pool, pool site. The animation with the pink and the blue and all like it when shifts, once again, stunning, beautiful animation. I think this is the best anim part of the animation I've seen of the series when they when they went to the with the to the crowded up uh, pool. Stunning, beautiful animation. I, that's one thing I had to say. I have to say right off the bat. Um, but um, it op it, pick it picks up uh the with the last episode left off with the businesswoman with all this time. The businesswoman is walking to the place to Nazanah's apartment, right? Because I thought it was a really good, it was a really good another good character in this in this well, so far this limited limited characters in this show. Like only we only have was Nazanah and Co and um, Akira. Yeah, we can see the occasional drunk guys, but those are like main characters though. But those are gag running gags, right? And this one businesswoman, which I thought she was another interesting character too. Where, okay, she, you know, basically, you know, she's, as later as, as later in the show, when she's talking to Ko, right, in a way, in a, in a, very much in a way, she was like, she was like, like Ko back when she was younger, right, as she was talking to him, right? You know, she likes the nighttime, being out alone, you know, saying how, oh, you can walk on the sidewalk and uh, sing, uh, sing aloud so that no one can hear your voice, right? Or you can just... Yeah, because this is basically there's nobody out in the middle of the night, right? That you can walk, you can stand in the middle of the street and walk in it, right? And and the way and she, and she just enjoying the night life, you know how how she what she did back when she was in middle school at Ko's age, right? So she was just like him ten years ago when she said so. Ko's and Koza sees him as her back then, and but the thing is though. Um, as, as I'm going on, I'm skipping a little bit, but, uh, she came here to get a massage because of the stress, you know, from work, right? And then when she, when we proceeds, when Ko opens up and he's going to give the massage. And first it was kind of awkward for her because he's given the massage instead of, of Nazuna, right? And, but then when, uh, more of the conversation as it carries on, right? Well, like I said, get into like how, um, when she, as he's, as, as, as he's massaging her, Saying that to how he describes when, oh, you're 14, you know, why are you up this late at night? Why are you working, right? Well, he goes and describes to how, you know, school wasn't for him and how he just wanted to enjoy the nightlife, right? Which is reminding her back then when she was his age. And then that's when she started crying because, because the thing is, though, because you know, her phone is ringing, it's her boss calling, and that's, uh, the thing is, like, she's an adult now because she, she has responsibilities. She's obligated, you know, for her boss to, you know, to answer her boss and go to work, right? It's different when, you, when you're a kid. It's different when you're a kid, though. So, that's one thing. That's, that's a difference, you know, because you're an adult and you have more responsibilities, though, right? But the thing is, though, it's stressing her out, you know. She's tired of, you know, uh, her coworker, or her boss, or, and going out and, and work. And, and also the after work drinks, she said. So, she's, she's having a mental breakdown, basically. And and things like she has to she was wanting to get ready to go leave and then Ko you know for a little serious part though she said no you're not leaving you're going to bed you can't you're not leaving you're getting me your massage and then, and and then and then Naza like a ghost just outright just walks through the wall and right in front of this woman and she's like huh like a little shocked yeah and then. And then he goes and Ko says, you know, I wanted to be a vampire. And then Naza goes and straight out, throws the woman right out her window, all the way story, all the way the story's down, and thinking she's gonna die. But then Ko jumps down there and catches her, and then Naza catches uh, both of them. So now they're so now they're talking in the street, and Ko is saying, you know, you know, he's saying to her that he wants to be a vampire, right? And how. Basically, he doesn't want he doesn't want to like do all this stuff, right? So if we once if you if you become a vampire, you know, if like Nazana, she's not human. She has to have to handle all these responsibilities, right? And saying that, 
you know, how, you know, you go, you stand, and you can stand, they're both standing right in the middle of the street, you know, and basically just, it was a good conversation saying that I just really, really just having him relieve the tension, so the, all of that tension off of her, and, and saying, then it goes and says, you know, you know, if I become a vampire, I'll make, I'll make, I'll make, I'll, I'll turn you into a vampire. And that kind of just kind of like, you know, surprised her, you know. Even though, even though he, he, she, a lot of times she thinks the talk he's saying that is, like, crazy at all. But I'm like, girl, you're just, you just saw a girl just walk through a wall and just threw you, all right, just threw you off seven stories high and catching you in midair. I do think, like, a lot of codes, uh, the logic about vampires is not as crazy as it seems. So, yeah, but even though she she acknowledged what he says, you know, kind of feels a little better about herself, though, but she still has to go to work regardless, though. So, I thought that with this with this new character, this businesswoman, I don't think she, I don't think she got her name, though, but she's another another good character, I would say, like Akira. And so, afterwards, you know, they want to discuss, um, and after she leaves, Ko is discussing with Nazu and say, what do you want to do now? You know, go to the movies, arcade, throw some darts. And they're saying, now, oh, how about um, the pool site? And this is where, we're, like I said, when they go to the pool site, this is where there's a lot of people there at the nighttime. The pool site, beautifully looking animation, once again. When it's how highlight and highlight and pink, and then when it switches to blue, stunningly beautiful animation. I have to give that, that's a, once again, once I have to say about this, with this whole series, the animation of the, of the backgrounds and landscapes is so beautiful to watch. And to get with it, uh, we get another uh, funny thing with Ko though. But even though it's a little bit serious though, because like I said, um, he's just sitting there. You know, it's it's kind of like not saying because it's so crowded. You know, and it's a lot of noise. And even you know all the adults you know showing, uh, seeing the adults in the in the case, and even drinking alcohol and martini glasses. You know, and he was kind of thinking. He was kind of thinking. We like go to a, like the school pool, right? Just the two of them. And then we see, and then see, and then he sees, goes sees Nazar now, like, and she has a swimsuit, but she's wearing a shirt, you know, and it's like getting confused, and like her less cloth, uh, her more uh, trying not to see her less less clothing is kind of like you know getting him. He's like trying to trying, she's she, she's trying to tease him again, basically. And then you know she tries teasing him again when these two guys are kind of hitting on her, and she's trying to make she's trying to make him jealous again. But I think that kind of went too far because he was getting he was getting really mad and, in a way, it was kind of breaking his heart in a way though because, and then how she just goes and yank goes and yanks her away from the guys you know because you know she he wants her all to himself, we know that. And hey, even the, even the two guys acknowledge you know, oh she was with the guy hey kid good luck you know, and he was kind of a little bit pissed off about that because you know it was just. That was like too much for him. That was like too. She like feel like she went too far with that. Even though, even though, and um, they even though despite the arguments, they quickly resolved them. You know, and even though she apologized, she really did apologize for that though. And so she said, "Do you still want to go to nice women?" So she goes and picks him up and flies off and just go goes to his school pool and just goes and slams just both dive bombs both of the both she both dive bombs the both of them into the pool. And so, and as a result, they quickly resolve their argument, and then, and then after the, end, the episode ends with just him sucking, uh, with her sucking his blood again. Yeah, episode six, uh, half, half, uh, midway through the series, um, with episode six, it was another really good episode. Like I said, animation once again, stunningly beautiful. I can't get enough of saying that. And we get some more, uh, more good conversations with the characters. You know, with the, with Ko and with the businesswoman. You know how. She um, like he sees her as himself, and even though um, when or when the girl sees sees him as her back when she was younger, you know, enjoying the night, you know, and and it's a surprise conversation. If say if I become a vampire, then I'll turn you into a vampire. That way you have to deal all these responsibilities now, you know, and that way you can enjoy the night more like you used to, you know, and you can stand in front, like I said, stand in front of them in the middle of the street, seeing on the sidewalk when nobody's around, you know, and. And then, the, and then the whole thing when he got really mad. Um, well, first of all, when he said when, when, when she was gonna leave because of work, and she say, "No way, you're not leaving this. You're not leaving this room. You're getting your massage right now. You're going to bed." <laughs> and 
And then when he when he was getting he got a little pissed to go when he got pissed off when she was teasing by having those two guys hit on him, you know. That's a big no no because he wanted her all to himself, you know. And they got that it was another, another argument, but they quickly resolved it, which was nice. Like they didn't go like in the next episode, you know. Oh, he's still mad about it, but but no, they quickly resolved it in one episode. I think that was another thing that they they quickly resolved their arguments like almost in one episode, right? And. I thought this makes it really, and it, I think it's maybe this is what this this, this kind of as I'm more and watching this, and this is what kind of difference from other vampire animes, very different from, well, very different from Seraph for the End or Dance in the Vampire Bind or very far different from Helsing Ultimate though. But I thought it was like um, I don't know how to say how it different is from from all those other ones though. But I thought it was really um, hmm. Well, not it's not erotic though, but even though she she, she kind of teases him with all the lewd jokes though, but I don't want to say it's just how it's different. I think it's more well, it's a quiet, you know, well the because uh, of the quiet of the night, you know, but a quiet maybe I can say that a quiet but very fun show, you know. Like I said, with the, with beautiful animation, good characters, and the and the, like, the the quiet of the night in the background, right? You can say that, yeah. But it was also it was very fun with they like said with their characters too. So, and they quickly resolved their arguments right away. But I like to see more of the business. I want to see more. Well, hopefully we'll see more of Akira as well, though. But we'll definitely see more of her, and more. I want to see more of that business that businesswoman too as well. But like I said, we're halfway through the series now. I hope we'll get to see more developments of other things as well. So, but yeah, looking forward to the next episode though. So, episode six, Call of the Night, another really good episode, I would say. Another good thumbs up for this. So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video, and we'll see you all later.